Hi, my name is Joel Godsey and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Trilithic. Today I'll be going over our latest addition to the new DSP family, the 180 DSP. This meter was built with the service techs and contractors in mind and designed to make basic installation and troubleshooting easier when the cable modem just isn't necessary. So today we'll be going over the features and functions of this meter. Let's get to it. Okay, as you can see it's got a nice hard case. It's got a front opening magnetic flap. On the side here, it's got a nice little hand strap. And you can see the D-rings up at the top in case you were using a carrying strap. It also has two openings, one at the top for RF and one here at the bottom. There's also a nice little stylus pen here on the side that you can use for the touch screen. So let's see this meter without the case. Okay, as you can see, the 180 has a rugged design. It features two rubber bumpers at the top to protect your RF connection. You can also see here that it's got a flashlight. And then at the bottom, you open this flap and we have an ether port, Ethernet port connection, a reset button, a charge port, and also a USB port that is used for either updating firmware or cloning a meter. As you can see, when we turn the 180 on, we're brought up to our four main menu items. The first is jobs, which everybody's going to want to create a job when they're doing any type of auto testing. So if I select enter on jobs, you can see we already have a job open, but if we want to create a new one, we'll hit the yellow soft key that says new and hit OK. And now you're brought up to our virtual keyboard. This is where you can use the stylus or your finger to type in what you wanted the uh, work order to be called and then we could save it by hitting done. If I back out of there, you can also see under the auto test menu that it has connection to the Viewpoint server or Viewpoint Express to send and receive files. Next we have our troubleshoot menu. You can see here that it has a level mode that reads analog and digital, a channel scan option, a spectrum analyzer option, It'll also do net tests and has the capability of functioning with FDR. Next you'll see under our setup menu that you have the basic information of the meter, firmware versions, MAC address, things like that. We have a setup option where you can go in and edit any kind of settings that are in the meter. A files option where you could go in and delete or read files that you've saved from the uh, 180. It's got a touch screen calibration for anything that you use with the touch screen on the meter. And then it also has the capability to update firmware directly from the meter hooking up with Ethernet. Next you'll see under the utility menu it has a web browser to make sure you're getting out to the internet. And then a source option. As you can see the 180 is a perfect tool for basic cable installs and RF troubleshooting. I hope you found this video helpful. And for more information, product videos, and how-tos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time.